I've also got this pillow uh, in the back over there. I don't know if you guys can, can kind of see that. Actually, boom. Can't you guys tell I'm in the spirit? I don't know, guys. I just work here, so. Anyway, so in today's video, we're going to be comparing two different kick drum practice pads. The two pads we'll be looking at are the Evans Real Feel Kick Drum Practice Pad and the DW Steve Smith Kick Drum Practice Pad. These are probably the two that I've seen on the market the most. Obviously, there's other uh, models. These are the two that uh, stuck out the most to me. I think kick drum practice pads are probably like a really good idea, say if you're held up in a hotel room or something like that, and you want to just uh, practice the feet as well as the hands. So you can actually have the pads like set up like this and also have your, um, your normal practice pad for your hands. And you can actually practice both at the same time to warm up. So yeah, I've been definitely wanting to try one out for a while. And so figured why not compare these two and see which one uh, I like the best. So the strike pad on the DW kick pad is kind of like this rubber covering over this uh, metal plate. It's also got a sort of like a layer of foam on the metal plate for uh, more support, I guess. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like those erasers you would use in school. You know, like the really big like block ones kind of feels like that. Now this pad really isn't all that quiet, but I think unless you live like in an apartment complex, I don't think you're going to be bothering your neighbors with this thing. I do also like how you can change the height of the uh, strike pad, so that's pretty nice. This one also has Velcro on the bottom as well as the spikes to help keep it in place. And also something that I really like about this uh, pad is folding it up takes literally two seconds. You just turn the little wing nut uh, at the bottom and literally just folds up, no problem. Now one thing I noticed is if you're playing double bass uh, on this practice pad, the, uh, the plate, the strike pad, will turn a little bit as you're playing. As you can see, the only real support on the back of the strike pad is just this like L-rod that actually holds up the pad to begin with. So you have the other two sides of the uh, strike pad that have no support whatsoever behind it. So it will turn a little bit if you're playing double bass. Kind of a downside because this pad is marketed towards people who use both single pedal and uh, double pedal. Still, I think this practice pad does get the job done, and I don't think that the, uh, the strike pad is going to completely turn around on you while you're playing this. Of course, I haven't really played on this pad that much yet, so we'll see. So the Evans pad is definitely quieter than the DW pad. The strike pad on this one is actually a thick layer of foam that's fixed onto the metal plate. What I really like about this one is the strike pad is super easy to take on and off, and uh, they even have replacements online, say if this one gets worn out or you lose it or whatever, so that's a big plus in my book. I also noticed the rubber bass pedal grip is a little bit short where it's positioned. In order to accommodate for my double bass pedal, I have to position the pedals a little bit to the right of the pad, and in doing so, it barely makes contact with the rubber grip. You could fix this by probably peeling it off and repositioning it, so not a huge complaint. But compare that to the DW pad, and the grip is a little bit longer. And of course, this may vary depending on what type of double bass pedal that you're using. Something else I found is the beaters on my double bass pedal barely land on the strike pad. And on this practice pad, the height is not adjustable. Not a huge complaint in my book, as the beaters do land on the pad to begin with, but I guess I'm OCD and would like to see the beaters land in the center. I could change the height of the beaters on my double bass pedal, but where they're at right now is the most comfortable to me, so I'm not really going to move those. Now, folding this thing isn't as easy as the DW pad. You will need a drum key to fold this thing, and luckily the pad did come with one. Only thing is, there's little to no uh, turning room when you put this thing on the lug uh, at the bottom. So you pretty much have to do little baby turns in order to like actually uh, get it all the way undone. But once it's out, it does fold up pretty nicely. And another plus two is this one is about $20 cheaper than the DW pad. So yeah, I think that's just about going to do it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Or do you use any of these pads? Are you using maybe a different brand? Is there another brand that I should check out? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I will be linking both of these pads uh, down in the comments below if you guys want to check them out. So yeah, you guys have a uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.